Beautiful summer night in Southern California from Dodger Stadium. Tonight, the first of this four-game weekend set between the Chicago Cubs and the Los Angeles Dodgers. It's Dodger baseball, and it's next on the show. Kenta Maeda will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, we look a lot at numbers from starting pitchers, walks to innings pitch, but one of the key stats I look for is whip. And he has a sub 1.30 whip coming into this start, which tells me he throws strikes. He's not afraid to get the ball in the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if he can string together some real quality innings in this one. Car. Here's Cargo, Carlos Gonzalez. Fielder, and we are set for Carlos baseball here this evening. Gonzalez. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. First of four here to start the weekend as the game's first pitch is taken and it's strike one. First pitch, 7 11. The 0 and 1 delivery. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Hey, you could tell his eyes lit up on that ball right there. It was a little up, but it was out over the plate. Tough pitch to pull, and this guy's known for going deep pull side. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. And that's the pitch they wanted him to punch out on. A slider down around the knees. That's a good job of holding off on that swing. Ball three. Three and two now. Chris Bryant waits on deck. And he lays off ball four. That's exactly what you want your leadoff man to do. Work the count and get on base. Yeah, well, when a guy's swinging the bat as well as he's been, this is a smart move. No reason to tempt fate out there. Here's Chris Bryant now having a very nice year currently second in the NL batting chase this season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. And he takes ball one. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes is Mr. Ed Drummond. Yeah, Matty. Hey, you know what, Dero? This Ed Drummond, he's a good umpire. Fair umpire, good ball and strike umpire. Pretty much straight down the road. That's all you look for, Dan. Just be consistent. I don't care if you're given two to three inches off the outside corner, but you can't do it on the inside corner. If you're going to stick to one thing and stay consistent with it, no player will have a gripe with you. Now the 2-0. -oh. Outside, 3-0 and -oh now. Previous head-to-head -head matchups with Kenta Maeda, he's one for five. Gonzalez aboard here at first with nobody out. Bryant looking at a three and one count. Even though he let that one go, you know that's the kind of pitch he likes to take a big hack at. Not too many power hitters that don't like a stomach-high fastball, so he's probably not throwing that one again. The three-one takes this the other way to right. Bellinger is there and he makes the catch for the out. With that, a look at that the Cubbies good. starting lineup. Nero, give us what you have on this lineup as they start a new series. Yeah, Matty, without question right here, this lineup's been struggling. Some bad approaches at the plate from top to bottom. They need the first two guys in the order to ignite this offense if they're going to have a chance of breaking out of this malaise. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. And boy, this at bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0 and 2 now. Oh, wow. That's what they call it jam sandwich. Wow. Not much you can do with that pitch that's in tight. Here's the 0 and 2. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Next will be the cleanup hitter Kyle Schwarber Kyle. comes in after a day of rest yesterday so we'll see if it did him any good. First 
first pitch on its way. Pitch misses low. The throw down. Offline throw, but they still got him. Good job of getting the tag down there. Another look at the throw down that results in a third out on the bases. It's on to the bottom of the first. No score on the show. Cole Hamels is on the mound for the Cubs in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, when you look up the word dependability in the dictionary, that's what this guy, you'll find a picture of this guy. Career ERA just under 3.5, and that's saying quite a lot in the high-scoring games that we see in baseball going on right now. Real solid pitcher, controls the running game, controls the strike zone, and more importantly, he knows how to get deep into the 6th, 7th, and 8th inning. Solid pitcher, and he'll be fun to watch in this one here today. Well, guys, as we look at the Cubs coming into play here tonight, they've had it going the last 10 games. They're 7 and 3 over that stretch, including a win last time out. Yeah, Maddie, no excuses anymore. April, May go by. You kind of cut your teeth, try and find clubhouse chemistry, execute on the field. We're in June now. This is a good harbinger of what's to come, and this team's playing well. Expect them to be in the race for a while. Time now to check out how the hometown Dodgers line up in this one. Danny, who stands out to you? Well, I know these guys love what Justin Turner brings to their offense. He was the catalyst for this ball club last month. He had an on-base percentage of over 400. And when you're doing that, you're really helping your team. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And up next, the former All-Star shortstop, Corey Seager. Strike taken up in the zone. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. Bases are empty, one man out. And he wastes a fastball high there, one and two. Boy, it's hard to sit on an 0-2 fastball. I think that pitch just locked him up a bit. But lucky for him, it was just a little out of the zone. The one-two. Now this is on the ground for Baez. It's short. Throw on to first, and Hamels has retired the first two in the inning. The third baseman. Stepping up now, Justin Turner. And they'll be looking to snap out of it in this one. Not having much success at the plate over the last week and a half. Here's the first pitch to him. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Two out, nobody on. That's inside. 2 0. Well, 2 0 now, and this is where he makes his money. If he gets a pitch to hack at, you can bet he's not going to hold back. Into the corner and slicing foul. Turner in front at three balls and a strike. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. Boy, oh boy, that's a tough one for the pitcher. He's definitely wondering, where the heck was that pitch? I think he called it high, but our strike zone says otherwise. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Cody Bellinger. He's a long ball threat of course currently number four in the National League home run race. You know Matty when I think of this guy I think of damage near the league leaders in RBIs as well Dero. That's the stat that I think gets overlooked so much in today's game. I remember back to Chipper Jones he used to say how many biscuits can you put in the basket runs and ribbies. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire the side. Dodgers leave one, and this is still a nothing nothing ball game. Coming to the plate now, Kyle Schwarber. He'll lead things off against Kenta Maeda. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Circle change is cut on and missed 0 and 1. Pretty lucky to get away with that one. There's not a situation ever where you want to throw a high changeup, so I think he'll try to make an adjustment with the next one he throws. One and one, one, and one to Schwarber. The one one home. Takes a pass and misses. That strike two.
Now a change up locks him up as he looks at strike three called one away. Hey, let's take a look at the Dodgers on defense. And let's focus on big. Corey Seager. Cal Ripken Jr., anyone? This guy looks like the spitting image of Iron Man. I think he's just scratching the surface of a Hall of Fame career. Multiple MVPs, gold gloves, you name it. Corey Seager is on fire. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And that misses inside 1-0. and oh. Still looking for our first hit in the ballgame. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Oh. Hit in the air down the right field line. Bellinger sprinting after it, but this will land untouched. Now the 2 1. Is swung on and missed, chased the fastball that time. You know, that can really be an effective pitch to a guy that has a lot of pop. They're up there looking for a fastball up in the zone, so if you can place it a little above it, they have a hard time getting the barrel up there. The 2 2. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. The lefty Jason Hayward waits in the on deck circle. Hit sharply on the ground. On to first, and there were two down. Batting fifth, the right fielder. Here's Jason Hayward now. Previous head-to-head -head matchups with Kenta Maeda. Two hits in seven tries. He's taken him deep once. Here's the first pitch to him. Way behind that pitch. It's 0-1. Yeah, Matty, he's very late on that first pitch. I, I, I got to think he was guessing off speed. The wind-up and the 0-1. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Ball one. Fastball just Back misses. Up. That's ball one. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. Barnes goes to get it, and the throw to first ends the inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Next for the Dodgers, Kike Hernandez. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Now a circle change, but he takes it low, ball two. Hit. So early trouble to lead off the inning. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dad. Sent it back right where it came from. And that'll bring up the versatile Max Muncy. As you look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Now a fastball as he has to lean out of the way there. Oh, and here's a drive. Well hit out to straightaway center. Back goes Hayward. Still ranging back. And off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. So it's a two-run shot to right center. Home run number nine on the year. And the Dodgers move in front now two to nothing.
As a hitter, that feels so good. The previous pitch ran in on him, trying to get him off the plate, but the next pitch, he mashes it out of here. Goes to show you, can't intimidate him. Here's Jock Peterson now. There's the first pitch to him, runs a bit inside for ball one. Peterson playing here in his age 26 season. He was selected in the 11th round back in the 2010 first year player draft. Hit well again down the right field line. That one's out of here. Back to back home run. A solo home run there for Jock Peterson. 12 home runs for him now thus far. And the Dodgers have now taken a 3 0 lead. Yeah, he saw his partner in crime go deep the previous bat and thought, hey, I want to get some of that. And that's just what he did. Back to back homers, doing it in style. That'll bring in Austin Barnes. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 329 is the average for him coming in. Six home runs and 19 driven in. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. He's through first and hustling for second. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Off the bat, it was pretty clear right away that that hit was going to get him at least two bases. Yeah, man. Some people like to throw about homers and powering drives, but you have to like hits like this. A no doubt double the second it left his bat. Like you said, the only question was whether the outfielders were going to be able to keep him at second, which they did. Stepping in now, Kenta Maeda. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And he will not have a play behind him. It's an infield single. The center fielder, number three. Chris. Now to the play, Chris Taylor. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Nope. A ball and no strikes. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that first strike right there. That was borderline right. up, even though it was in the zone. Now the one and one pitch. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Barnes over at second. Maeda on at first with nobody out. And he'll take strike three called. And he needed that one badly on the mound. One away. So here's how the Chicago Cubs are positioned defensively. And let's take a look at Chris Bryant down at third base today playing. Him. And he's a guy that can move around. The manager can put him in the outfield, but his home is at third base. He's got the arm to get it done, a strong arm. He can go behind the bag and make big time plays and a nice soft hands. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Runner! There we go. One ball and two strikes to count. One and two, here it comes. That's now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Fouled off. Another try at 2-2. And another foul ball. Three runs already home here. That's lifted the other way out to left. Schwarber moves over, and that's the second out of the inning. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. So it's first and second with two men gone. And that'll bring up the third baseman, Justin Turner. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Wow, that's 40 pitches for him already. This doesn't have the makings of a start that he's going to go very deep. A ball and a strike now. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw is in time, and they're able to avoid the huge inning here as the side is retired. So they strike for three runs on five hits, no errors, and a couple of men left on. We played two full. It's the Dodgers three and the Cubs nothing.
welcome back to Dodger Stadium, where these fans have witnessed a lot of good pitching from their boys in blue this season. To start the day, they've given up the fewest home runs of any other pitching staff in the league, which has certainly led to accumulating one of the best ERAs in the league as well. One of their pitchers told me, all of our guys have stuff that dances around. We don't throw a lot of straight stuff, so we make it really tough on hitters to barrel us up. Especially in today's game, limiting the home run ball is a great avenue to success, guys. All right, thanks, Heidi. Control. First pitch on its way. And he got him out in front that time. Strike one. These are huge innings for a team's morale. The pitcher wants to go out and throw that shutdown inning up and get the boys back swinging the bats again with a chance to capitalize and even extend this current lead. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, one and two. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah Matt that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone to protect and when they're in that mode getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. And he fouls this one off. Cubs to this point have yet to break into the hit column. Wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And now here's the ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Taylor will range to his left and put it away. Two down. Batting done. Stepping in, Paul Hamlin. And then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to one and one. This is skied into short left center. Seeger is there, and that ends the inning. Cubs are down in order. They trail in this one, 3 nothing. Ready now, Cody Bellinger. Ready to go. He's a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. And that misses one and one. Bellinger could be scheduled for an appearance at the All-Star game this year. So far, he's received the second most votes among right fielders in his league. Yeah, and he's been having an excellent season to date, making a push towards that All-Star game. Hey, fans, get out there and vote. This guy sits in second place, but I'm sure he'd like to be named starter. The count now at two and two. In the air now after left field. Schwarber has it in his tracks, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. The base is empty, and that means the plug and play utility man, Kike Hernandez, will bat next. And that misses ball one. One out, nobody on. Much too tardy on the fastball. One and one. And that's into the corner, a foul ball and right. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. A swing and a shot hit down the corner, but it bends just foul into the second deck. You're grinding so hard at the plate right there, expecting something on the corners, and what happens? Change up, middle cut. Your eyes light up, but you're just not able to barrel it up. Now batting. 
The bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitter, Max Muncy. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. One and one to the Dodgers' first baseman. Two out, nobody on. Right side, but it's well fouled. Hamels into the windup. One, two on its way. Hit on the ground to third. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One, two, three go the Dodgers. But they lead it three nothing. Ready for another chance. Carlos Leading Gonzalez. Previous head-to-head -head right matchups with Kent and Maeda. Just a two Gonzalez. for 14 line. So advantage pitcher here. Seven strikeouts on the stat sheet as well. But facing right-handed pitching so far this season. Gonzalez is hitting over 350 up in the high 300s. His batting average right now certainly signifies that this guy is having a great year. I'm very interested to see how this guy finishes up. Next 0-2. Misses for ball now, one. one and two. As a hitter, you got to be staunch in your game plan. You know he has a nasty changeup, and you got to fight to make sure it's in the zone. That's a great take right there. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. The great equalizer, the changeup. That was a really now good bad. job of getting him to offer that one out of the Ripple. zone. And it was all Ripple. set up by the fact that he got ahead of the count and forced the hitter to have to protect. That's the name of the game. Now he extends nicely, and this ball's driven to right field and deep. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. Hey, the he started the offensive production with a bang Anthony right there. That's the first Rizzo. hit of the game, and it's a good one. Driving that ball to and over the wall for a ground rule double, and he's basically able to stroll into second base. Anthony Rizzo stands in now as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. One and one, the count to the Cubs' first baseman. Clearly staying away from him in this at bat with that runner in scoring position tells me they're trying to force him to reach for something and maybe roll over on it. The one one home in front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Bryant, the runner at second with one away. And that's going to be high two and two now. That's a good take on that fastball there. You know he's looking for something up there to drive but that was just a little above his happy zone. Not everyone has the discipline to hold back on those. Almost got him to go around but instead it's ball three. I think he's going to triple up on changeup right there. He seemed to have gotten the timing down on that second one. A curveball hit right back at him. And he'll send it on to first, and that'll freeze the runner at second with two away now. Now batting the left fielder. It's a runner in scoring position with two men gone. And next, it'll be the left-handed power threat, Kyle Schwarber. Here comes the first pitch. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. The 1-0. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. 
He pulls into second safely as a run also comes in to score, making it a two-run ball game. Just some more of the same from him. He's been clutch all year with runners in scoring position, and he does it again here with a double. Tack on another RBI to his season total. Here's Javier Baez. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. Runner in scoring position with two gone. And he falls behind now, 2-0. Oh. No reason to give in to him here with the base open. Putting him on base just gives your defense more ways to help get you out of this. 2 well count. The pitch is taken. Strike one. Count two one. Now the 2 1 pitch. Hard hit toward the hole. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. Play at the plate, and he's in. A great throw. Cubs pick up a run on the RBI double. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's the Dodgers three and the Cubs one. Welcome back to Dodger Stadium. Let's send it down to the field in Heidi Watney. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, the Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Thank you, Heidi. The wind-up and the 0-1. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Back goes Hayward at the track. The wall. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Jock Peterson has just clubbed a milestone home run of sorts. It's the 100th of his career. Well, obviously, it's not easy hitting home runs, Matt, especially at this level. 100 home runs is nothing to scoff at, so I'm sure he'll be proud of this accomplishment when he gets to really think about it after a game, and you know he'll want that ball to hold on to. Austin Barnes the as the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one it was a double for him in his first turn at the plate one and one and it's one and two that's a real good job of going back to back fastballs right there. Most of the time, a hitter will see a fastball in the inside half of the plate, and they'll just think, well, this pitch is going to go back on the outside. But when you double up like he did right there, it sends a message to the hitter that you're not afraid to throw in that inner half of the plate. Hayward has a read on it. One away. All right, so time now for the Cubs road to the show report as we see a couple of prospects who have been performing at a high level in the upper minors. One gone now in the Dodger fourth, and that brings up the pitcher, Kent Maeda. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. One of the big keys to pitching well is getting ahead early on, and it's been far from that for this guy so far. Less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Well, fans love a lot of offense, and that's what they're getting here, Dan. You said it, Matty. That's 10 hits in this game between the two teams already. Got to tell you, as a pitcher, this is a little painful for me to watch. Oh, he just blows the fastball by him for strike one. Oh, for two for him to this point. Taylor swings, and a ball hit well to left. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. And the run will score from second to make this a 5-1 game now. 
the batter. Number five. Here's Corey Seager. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. In his career, Seager is slugging north of 480, which puts him among some of the best power hitters in the game in that category. Taylor leads off second with one gun in the inning. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. Two balls and two strikes to Corey Seager. The 2-2. Two -two is laid off and the count runs full. Having a hard time putting this hitter away here. And when I was looking at the tape on him from his last start, this is what I saw a lot of. He's not closing the door on guys. And, and when that's the case, they eventually get a pitch that they can do something with. Ready once again, Justin Turner. He was a ground out victim last time up. Just off the outside, and it's 1 0. Five runs, eight hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. A ball and a strike. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. Oh, he wanted that one, but it misses for ball three. We're starting to see a lot more balls from him now, and that's a direct result of him getting hit around pretty good. He's and he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We played four full. It's the Dodgers five and the Cubs one. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. Between innings, I was able to discuss the current state of the Cubs lineup with manager Joe Madden, and he told me he feels like they're being too patient at the plate right now. He said the problem is they're allowing the themselves Cubs. to fall behind in the count fewer. way too often, Jason which is forcing them to Hayward. constantly be in protect mode and swing at bad pitches. A lot of their outs have come from at-bats where they've fallen behind, so the focus going forward needs to be about being the aggressor early in the at-bats. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Thanks. There's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. And prior to the first pitch, he'll look to first. And they got him. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hit on the ground to short. Seager is there. Throw gets him. Two down. Both bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up one of the better clutch hitters on the landscape, David Bodie. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. We're moving along in this one, heading into the middle innings. This guy continuing to pitch well. And one of the reasons why, first pitch strike ratio over 70% up to this point in this game. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Down go the Cubs on just four pitches. They're down five to one. So that'll bring in the National League rookie home run record holder, Cody Bellinger, as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Owen won the count. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Well, there's the great equalizer, the changeup. El Combio. Listen, if you can keep that pitch in your back pocket and pull it out when you need it, like he did right there, usually hitters, they don't stand a chance. Strike one to start the at bat. The 0 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Hernandez behind a ball and two strikes. Five runs, eight hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. I like what he was trying to do there with the two seam fastball, but that's a tough pitch to come in. When you throw it glove side like that, it's really tough to get it to come back to the corner. Hit in the air to left. Schwarber is there. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Well, 
So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitter, Max Muncy. Low for ball one. Fastball in there for a strike. 92 on the radar gun that time. He's been getting lit up all game, and there's a common denominator. He keeps missing right down the middle of the plate. Case in point with that last one. The one-two. Gets him looking. Strike three. Dodgers down in order. They lead this one, though, five to one. Daniel Descalzo is going to grab a bat now and hit for the pitcher, Hamill. For Chicago, number three, Daniel Descalzo. And it's fouled away. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. The wind up and the 0 1. Pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. That's lifted the other way out to left. Peterson has a read on it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now batting, right fielder, Carlos. So with one Gonzalez. gone, here's Carlos Gonzalez. First pitch coming, here it is. And that's in there for a strike. One ball and one strike to the Cubs leadoff batter. Two balls and a strike to Carlos Gonzalez. And a big swing and a miss here, two strikes. You know, we haven't seen that pitch from him in a while. But it looks like he's got pretty good feel for it. If he's going to pick and choose when he's going to use it, he could steal some strikes that way. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Uh, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of the stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. He's certainly done an amazing job right here, grinding to get early two outs with the number two hitter and the middle of the order lurking. He would love to see three, four, five with no one on base next inning. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Well, he was definitely struggling the coming into this one, but I think 44. we can say that cold Anthony streak is officially Rizzo. over. That's his second hit of the game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. Into the box, Anthony Rizzo. And there's a swing and a miss at an off-speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Nope, and he misses there. One and two. Here's the one and two delivery. Now a curveball misses inside. Pretty standard curve in the dirt looking for a strike out there, but that was a good job of recognizing it and holding back at the plate. Two balls and two strikes to Rizzo. Lazy fly ball out to center field. On the move is Taylor. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Danger averted following the two-out double. Thursday night baseball rolls on. We'll have more after this.
There's Joe Madden up out of the dugout now on his way to home plate so it looks as though he's going to call for the double switch here. Tyler Chatwood enters to do the he pitching in the bottom the of the sixth. Now pitching and batting in the third spot. Number John two. Peterson will stand in looking for home run number three as we take it back to inning number four. And this was his second home run of the game as he's been dialed in so far in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he gets ahead 0-1. Uh, had him reaching a thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0 and 2. Line shot to first, and there's one away. Now batting. The catcher, Austin. Digging in, Austin Barnes. A hit in two tries for him so far. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Popped him up. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. The Alex Verdugo will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. First pitch here misses wide 1 and 0. He'll come in with an average down at 230. One home run and 14 driven in. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. A 1 1. Waves and misses for strike number two. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. We're in the sixth inning now of a five to one ball game. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Drilled to first. And he whips on it as this ball's right under his glove. It's the best competition in all of sport. The pitcher against the batter right there. He fouled off multiple pitches, refused to go down. Not only did he get a knock, but he ran some pitch total up too. Into the box now, Chris Taylor, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Batter pitcher matchup numbers with Tyler Chatwood. He's hitless in six tries. One and one to the Dodgers leadoff man. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. The one two. And a little self preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. One left for LA. They're up five to one. Back here at Dodger Stadium. The men in blue leading in this one as we get set Ladies to begin the seventh. But before we do, let's please. check out the game summary to this point. Julio Arias is number on the seven. pitch from the bullpen now to Julio. start inning number seven. Digging in Julio. and looking for more. Kyle Schwarber do up for the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah, only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. Swung on and missed one and one some action in the Dodger bullpen now as it appears they have both the lefty and a right hander up and throwing. A swing and a drive to center field that one's got a chance back goes Taylor on the warning track he makes the catch the batter number nine shortstop. Yeah. Next, Hubba, Javier Baez, one for two. He grounded out first time up and followed that with a base hit. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. He got that one fielder. pretty good. It Jason just didn't have the right Hayward. launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. 
Standing in now, Jason Hayward. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Line drive to left. Peterson is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Three up, three down for the Cubs. They're down here five to one. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Corey Seager in his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. Seager. Albert M. Moore is into the ball game now as he assumes duties in center field. Now playing center field. Here's the first pitch to him. Albert. Oh, and he leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location. He is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the wall. A home run. A solo home run for Corey Seager. Number 11 for him on the season. And it's now a 6-1 to one ball game. Well, when you groove the first pitch a strike, these hitters are going to make you pay. Something tells me I don't have to tell the guy in the mound that anymore. That hurts. Now Stepping in now, the Justin Turner. Turner. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. No hits to this point. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Those 0-2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. So he couldn't get the bat off the shoulders that time. Justin Turner had dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Lays off 1-0. Batter pitcher matchup numbers with Tyler Chatwood. He's 0-7. for 7. That evens it up 1-1. One one. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. Wow, it just doesn't seem like he's being as aggressive as he was before he gave up that home run. Was throwing the ball great. Now it seems like he's a little bit more tentative throwing the ball across the plate. Full count to Bellinger. Three balls, two strikes. Bases are empty, one man out. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Now the one and one pick. Is looked at for ball number two. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. And the Dodgers' bats just keep going as this is extra bases as well. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. Left fielder really no, never no, had a chance at that one at all. It was over his head before he knew it, bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. In now, Max Muncy as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Oh, and two, here it comes. Too high. One and two. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. But the Dodgers add on courtesy of this solo home run. 
We'll march on to the eighth. It's the Dodgers six and the Cubs one. Your Joe Kelly please. has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 17. At the plate, Wilson Contreras. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Here comes the first pitch. Fastball runs a bit inside here. It's 1-0. Kelly has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late, but he rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. One and one to count. Now the one and one pitch gets him out in front on a good changeup. One two is laid off for ball two. Two and two. Here now the two two. Heading out towards shallow right. Bellinger has to come in a few steps, but he has it for out number one. Now batter. The second baseman. So digging in now, David Bodie. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. First pitch of the at bat. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. One out, nobody on. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Now the Dodgers get a right hander up and throwing in their bullpen. And did he go around. No he did not ball two. Great job to be able to lay off that pitch right there. You could tell the minute it came out of his hand his eyes lit up at the plate. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. Bases are empty, one man out. And this is in a bit tight, maybe above the letters as well. So it's a full count now, three and two. swing but it's strike three anyway says the home plate umpire and that's out number two next to bat will be Victor Caratini the and they're down to their eight. final four outs Victor. here Dan yeah Caratini. it's not looking too good for them right now Matt they've got a significant hill to climb but they've got to take it one bat at a time a couple of guys get on and then who knows what could happen lifted down the line in left Peterson on the run and they can't run it down And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Now here's the pitch. The ball and two strikes. The count is one and two. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. The 2-2 is looked at and the count moves full. 
well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Now the three and two pitch. Freezes him on the inside strike three. Cubs are down in order. They trail six to one. Stepping up to the plate, Jock Peterson. Leading to off. see what he can do leading off the home eight. Brendan Kinsler is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eight. And ready, here's the first off line. Pulls the string on that one, one strike. Where this one almost in books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty D, I don't know what your thoughts are, d Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. He'll try again, one, two. Fouled away. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. Another one sent foul. The one two. And oh, we can't get out of the way of that one. So the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Yeah, it was a great battle there. He was one strike away from putting him away. As a pitcher, you hate to put a guy on for free after all that work. Austin Barnes is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. The second for one. On to first, and they get the double play. That's a great example there of why the sinker is such an effective pitch. The hitter's eyes see it higher in the zone than it ends up, and that makes it real tough to score up. And they'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. and oh. 1-0 oh pitch is a sinker swung on and missed 1-1. One and one. That is such a tough pitch to lay off right there, but you have to find a way. There's nothing you're going to do with that low sinker except foul it into your shin or hit a ground ball to the left side. Again, he sends it out of play. Nope. Trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. He's just having a hard time putting this guy away. Four foul balls in this A.B. I don't think this pitcher has got something that he can get a swing and a miss on. Hops this one up. Caratini has room in foul territory and no one will track it down and he lays off ball four so he comes right off the bench and works the walk usually easier said than done the fielder, number three. freeze leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning Taylor behind Owen oh to the count Fly ball out to straightaway right. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Dodgers leave one. They hold on to their six to one lead. Yimmy Garcia comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Carlos Gonzalez. 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. Fouled off. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Mine to the right side. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Chris Ryan. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at-bat. First offering on its way. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. 
Not sure what he saw in that pitch, but it sure looked tempting. And at least he held up. He must have been guessing. Squared that one up just a little late. One out, nobody on. And he fouls this one off. The one two misses ball two. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's working full now at three and two. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter on that one. That's through a base hit, and he's got his third hit of the game. Yeah, that hard hit single right there, that's clean. Three for four, he's looking locked in. Addison Russell will Your be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with the runner Chicago. at first and one gone Number in the inning. Addison Russell. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Taylor is there. He hauls it in without any trouble and there are two away. Now back, the left fielder. Now with the plate, Kyle Schwarber, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. He's set, and the pitch. That's the first pitch is a fastball inside, 1-0. and He pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. The 2-1. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Throw on the first is going to be in time for the final out, and the Dodgers have taken the opener here at home as this ball game is over. It's always nice to take the opener of a four-game set when you're at home. That sets the stage for the rest of the series, and it gives you a good springboard the rest of the way. And tonight's comes to a conclusion, 6-1 to one the final. The Dodgers took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Kenta Maeda earns his fifth winner of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Baskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Dodgers, six runs, 11 hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and eight minutes. Tonight's paid attendance, a sellout, 56,000. The Dodgers thank you for attending tonight's game. And as you leave Dodger Stadium, we remind you to please drive home safely.